Okay, so there's the items I want to paint. The bigger areas I worked pretty hard because that's where you see the scratches. Okay, we're going to be painting outside today. And this is a, one of the perfect tools for painting. But I'll probably be holding it in my hands and hanging or putting them on here. First we're going to prime, and then we are going to paint red, and tomorrow I'm going to just paint the olive color. Alright, now this isn't the greatest mask, but it helps a little bit, right? The beard doesn't help either. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to uh, put this on a holder on or right off. Oh, that's the wrong place to put those, definitely. Broke a glove already. Here handle. So do I do this and then spray it? I th Let's try that. A little windy. So let's stand back this way. This is an etching primer for aluminum. This whole thing is aluminum. So let's just keep... Okay, interesting. I'm going to switch the hooker out. Yeah, they're both about the same size again. Good. And we'll just hang them up there. Put the next one in the sun. Okay. This is going to be a tough one. I'm going to uh, first of all spray the inside. Okay, we'll get a hook. Oh, that's a top one. There. Okay. I'm going to do a couple of coats of this. It's looking good. It's a chainsaw. I'll come back and do another coat in a few minutes. Mm. We got the same problem? No, sir. Okay. Next one, let's just do the easy stuff first as we learn. This is the outside, so we'll do the inside first. Well, that's a good paint, eh? I got one idea here. This works better for putting stuff on. It's got a little bit of a lip, eh? We 
we don't need that many. Good. That one can stay there. Now we're going to just keep going now. Stuff's getting a little more intricate each time. So this is the piece that's going to get the, the olive center. And I don't really want to get paint on the back. Hmm. Might have to do a quick tape job on that. Now this is the inside, you don't have to worry too much about it. Gotta get a bit of tape. Anyway, I'll bring you guys back when I'm close to done the priming. Thank you. Just taping and spraying. Okay, this one's just a little bit more interesting than the others. Little gray on gray drip there. Good. Okay, so we're gonna carry on. This this is just getting crazier. I don't even have to spray inside here, but I'm going to. Okay, I used up all of the so I'm being a little smarter here and I'm not shooting as much of the color into the uh, atmosphere. <laughs> I'm getting a new camera so uh, this, this isn't that dangerous. And that center piece is going to be green remember. Whoa. There we go. What else is 
just gotta go. Okay. <sighs> Let's hold this by the by the teeth. We'll, we'll hit the red parts first. And then a light coating on the inside. This is the outside here. So you have to think about what you're doing. When I'm done, I'm going to change out the screws. Can you believe that? Very happy with that. Now, just the underneath part doesn't have to be fully red. Okay, that's pretty good. No major drips or runs. I don't care about in there. Yeah, that took the majority of the poop. <laughs> That's always a risk when you're hand painting. Okay, how much crap did I pick up? On the back. We'll wipe that off after maybe, eh? Now there's always one painful moment. Okay, let's hang that up before I wreck anything out. We got anything left? I got about a half a can of paint. That's perfect. Oh, the main body. Okay, I'm going to need some support to do this. Now this was red at one time. Some of this some of these were blue as you know. So now I'll just finish up here. Oh you weren't even looking at me. I was painting over there. Okay, all my friend. I have a tiny bit left. So when I take off the masking tape, I can uh, spray paint the oh my gods. There's always going to be a few oh my gods, right? In fact, there's a little gray there, but the handle goes through there. Yes, so now we just have to wait for things to dry. Yes, Steve, hold on to your socks. It's happening. And I get so impatient. <laughs> this is the pull. Uh, I want to put that green circle, it's a teal colored circle in there. Uh, I want to put that in now, but I think I'll wait till tomorrow and spray it in. Hard for me, man. I just want to go! So now I'm going to unmask everything, Steve. It's been about an hour. This one was the tough one. because you, I'm, Although I'm lucky, most of it was, it was all red before, right? So this piece here, 
the tank, uh, the cover was all gray. So, you know, if I do anything wrong, that's going to just jump through that paint, right? Uh, 